Welcome, Stephen. Thank you. So what inspired you to put your name forward as a candidate in this election? Well, it's something I've always wanted to do. Um, I had intentions of getting into politics and went back to school and I got my business administration degree uh, through the Academy of Learning. And my intentions was to get into politics and city council is something I've always wanted to start as the most unforgiving job there is. And I think I'll thrive at it. So what experience do you believe will assist you in being an effective elected representative? Uh, well, life experience. Uh, my whole life I've done different jobs. Uh, when I was 17, I was building 600 foot towers. Uh, I've done everything from construction. I have a class one license, worked in the oil field since the 90s. Um, I think that aspect brings you to know and understand the economy quite a bit. I've done a lot of community involvement. I've helped people get into government programs after I got my business license. That was nice. I got involved with that. I like helping people in the community. So, um, yeah, I think all that put together makes me a good candidate uh, to be for city council. Great. So what do you believe are the important issues that are facing our region? Uh, well, right now, of course, uh, we got uh, a little crisis with uh, the mental health and whatnot, um, poverty, uh, small businesses. I think that should be a first focus altogether. Um, important issues also, like if we got off of that topic, I believe water conservation and energy conservation are very important and um, very good economically if we got into that. So that's something that I've always believed in. So that's something that I think is very important for our region especially with the talk of maybe going nuclear where you need a lot of water or geothermal where you need a lot of water. I think we should look at that a little bit more responsibly. So how will your election platform benefit and improve the lives of our constituents here? Uh, well, I, I want to build with the community. So I want to make sure every, everybody is together and everybody gets what they need. So um, one of my biggest things is I believe that we need a central platform a central building, a hub, if you will, downtown, where every service that we have available in the city is centralized in this one place where we could bring everybody who needs help out to the places that are offering the help. Uh, one thing we don't have is nobody knows what services are available when they need it. So we need something like that. And I believe it needs to be run by the city and doesn't need to be contracted out. But I think we need all the people who are contracted out involved in this one place. Okay. So what strategies and specific policies would you suggest that address the pillars in the Chamber's Vote Prosperity Platform? So those include innovation and competitive strategy, infrastructure development, image and branding, workforce development, and business and financial supports. So innovation and competitive strategy, I think, well, I, I don't know what to say on that. We, we need to bring in more people, of course. Um, we need to get into the future. Um, we have to really strive for that hard. So we, we need to, to be competitive, we have to stick with the future, but we also have to keep with our past. So like I, I'll use the conservation again, if, if we go green and use some of the green, but also combine it with our oil and gas, if we put it all together, that's innovation, that's looking to the future. That's a way to get us going again. Um, so yeah, that's on that. Um, Infrastructure development is always very, very important. We need to continue with our infrastructure. Um, we need to do it responsibly. Um, condos on the Riverside was a good deal, but if we would have waited it out, we would have gotten a lot more for that contract um, because of the development of the downtown area and stuff. Um, I think that was a bad decision. Image and branding uh, in Medicine Hat, it's, um, it's such a beautiful place and we have so much to offer that um, it's a shame not a lot of people know about it. I believe that we should have a full-time staff at all times trying to promote our city and bring people to our city. Once people come here, they fall in love with it and they never want to leave. And I believe that's important. Um, when it comes to workforce development, that image and branding will bring people here because we'll see the, what we have to offer. Even in Medicine Hat right now, even though the economy is slow, there's still jobs out there. You could always find a job. Um, business and financial support, I believe, also should be very highly um, 
sorry, I'm not sure where I'm going with that, but it should be supported by the city at all costs, and we should always support that. So, Great. So do you have any concluding thoughts or insights that you would like to share with the voting public? Um, I'm sorry. Um, just that I, I want to do a really good job in the city, something I've always wanted done. Um, I know sometimes people think what I do is a little unorthodox, but I have good intentions at all times. Um, I really want to do the right thing. I believe I have the education and the experience to do the job properly. And I just hope you'll give me your vote and give you, let me give you a chance to show you what I can do. Excellent. Thank you for your time today, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you.